Hello everybody, WJS Gamer 20 here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Party Superstars playthrough. So now that we've done all the boards, we are now going to move on to Mount Mini Games. So let's get started. So Mount Mini Games is like the mini games mode of this game. You know, like you'd see in pretty much every Mario Party game. So for this, I'm just going to pick my go-to team, because that just makes sense. I want you guys to see my go-to team. Yeah, it's a bit strange that I have Peach as my... Peach is one of my go-to um, people, but it can't be Mario Party without her. Okay, so in Mount Mini Games, there are seven courses, as the game calls it, when these are all technically modes. So there's free play, which just allows you to play any mini game in the game, as we all know what it is. Tag match, which is just means, um, which is a mode where you just um, play two versus two mini games and try to win the most. Trio Challenge, which is where you play one versus three mini games and try to maintain your win streak. Sports and Puzzles, which just has a few random sports games and uh, puzzle games. And then there's these two, which we can't do because they're online based. So as usual, I'm going to save the free play to last. I know I said in the very end of the last video that I would do this first, but I ignore what I said there because um, I like to save this to last because we might get mini games we haven't seen in these other modes. Especially this one. I don't think we've seen like many 2v2 mini games. But that will change when we get to that. Anyway, let's start with coin battle. Let's just press how to play. Play with three other players and see who can rack up the most coins. Coin mini games, bonus mini games, and other events can happen too. In one versus three mini games, the player who in who's in the lead faces off against three rivals. After the dust has settled, whoever has the most coins wins. So you can choose how many rounds you want to do. I'm going to do 10 rounds because uh, 5 rounds might be too short and then 15 rounds might be a bit too long. CPUs will be normal and we'll still have help on just in case we get any mini games we haven't seen. If you win in minigames, you can earn yourself a whole lot of coins. Without further delay, coin battle begins now. Here's the first minigame. Cast your votes in a minigame will be selected by the roll at will. So, basically before I start, they give you three minigames to pick. And, um, basically you vote. And, um, once everyone has picked, the roulette will spin. And then, um, it just picks, um... Um, picks whoever, whatever someone picked randomly. Um, I think we've done all of these. I don't know if we've done crazy cutters, but I'm gonna pick crazy cutters. Yeah, we have definitely done this mini game. So we don't need to see the rules. And um. By the way, this mini game has different like race like tracks. Like the track is laid out differently, but I think we've always seen this one. So yeah, there's like three. Okay, I was slowing down there. I don't think this is loud enough. 
There we go. And there we go. So we won, so we get, I think, 10 coins, and the others get, yeah, 3 and 2. I really hate Trappy's Artist. I do. It's the worst minigame ever. But we haven't seen it yet, and we didn't, haven't seen Nightlife Fright. At least we have seen a new minigame. Well, no, actually, no. What am I talking about? Um, Slot Car Derby is not a new minigame. Yeah, I definitely got that. There we go. Look how tiny Yoshi's piranha plant is. It's like a newborn baby. Coin mini game. All the coins you get in the game will be yours to keep. Uh, which one do I do? I really hate castaways, and I don't really like this, so I'm gonna go with hammer drop. This is pro this is probably the easiest out of all those three. I don't think we've done this yet. So the hammer bro throws coins, and you just try to get them, but he will throw hammers. So you have to avoid them. You can fall off too. So if you fall off, then you're out, basically. You can't get any more coins. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm going to be the winner of Coin Battle. Because I got 64 coins. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to be. Okay, Facelift is a Bowser minigame, and I absolutely love it, so I'm going to go with that. But I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah. Don't you just hate when someone... Like, you all pick the same one, and then the other person doesn't, and then... When the roulette is spinning, of course, lands on the minigame that... Was not the one you all picked. That's just so annoying, isn't it? I don't know if we have done this, but just in case we haven't, you just avoid the penguins. I feel like we have done it, though. Just hard to keep track, though. I feel like we have, though. And basically the whole point is just to hold the... Hold, um, right on the control stick. That gets really hard. Battle minigame. 
battle it out in a mini game where everyone's coins are at stake. I'll go ahead and collect 10 coins from each of you. Uh, Mario doesn't have enough. Alright then, let's play a mini game with 45 coins at stake. We'll even let Mario select the next mini game for us, and I bet he's gonna pick something that's something I can't do. Just watch. Oh, there was manner of escape. We've already done this. I can't remember if we have done this, but I feel like we have. By the way, the mini games we have done that oh my god, that was terrible. The mini games we haven't done, we have done that have different stages in them. I will go ahead and show those big off because oh my god, how that, that is terrible. I could have actually lost that. But I didn't. Oh, I thought it was going to be a tie, because, like, no one's boo was, um, no one's boo was, um, cracking. Lady Bruno will face the rest, whichever side gets 20, whichever side wins gets 20 coins. Why does Mario get to pick it all the time? I think we've already done this, but for this, if just in case we have, then this is just luck based. And I really want my 20 coins. I'm gonna go for the Toad House. And Peach was in the Toad House. I'm gonna go for the, um, the bush, because Yoshi's green and the bush is green. Actually, I'm gonna go for the... Oh well, even if I did choose the bush, it wouldn't have mattered. Well, I have to hope that whichever one I choose, they're both there. Dang it. Not fat. Yeah, you all won because of luck. And because it's something you can all do, but of course something I can't do. We haven't done these two, so I'm gonna go with Mecha Marathon because it's much easier than... But of course, we don't get it. We get this. So, yeah, we've already done this, so we're not- we don't need to read the rules. This was actually the thumbnail for the, uh, video where I did Horrorland. This minigame. See, how are you supposed to even hit that? Those were so freaking fast. I guess that's payback for you all beating me at something which is rigged as hell. The hide and sneak is rigged as hell. So these are all coin mini games. So I'm gonna go for this because I'm good at it.
Well, we've already done this, but I don't care because I'm, I I want to do the stuff I'm good at. I think there is one mini game I know we haven't played, and it is so unbelievably rigged. I think you can all probably guess what it is. It's a mini game where you basically try to hide from a chain chomp, and then you hold down to basically move forward, and then um, you have to let go to hide in the barrel. And then when you let go of um, the control stick, your character won't hide immediately. And then you basically get out, and it is rigged as hell, and it is sneak and snore. Yep, it's the worst minigame ever. I don't think we've done Rock and Raceway. I actually don't know if we have done this or not. But just in case we haven't, you basically collect these letters and then hand them to the shy guy. And it is actually very annoying because the shy guy will run away from you. Yeah, and this is from MP6. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Well, whatever. Like, why does he need to run away from us? It's not like we're spiders. If we were, then it would make sense, but we're not. Well, we won. We got more letters than anyone else. Mainly, yeah, there are love letters, too, like, which are the letters that have a love heart on it, and those will be... I think three or five points if you hand them in. Last but not least is the final mini game. The coins here you get here will be double as well. It's not gonna matter if I lose. Um, we have already done Coney Island. We've done this way too many times, so I'm gonna go with this and we haven't because we haven't done it yet. This minigame actually used to have a different name. I think it was called Shell Shocked. Apparently that was like an inappropriate name or something. But you basically have to shoot the rival tanks and if you get hit twice then you're out. And I believe this is the stage where there's only just one pipe, yeah. There are three stages, and this is the first one, and it is scary because there's only one pipe. Yeah, we should get her out first. Should get you out third, and we should get you out. That didn't make any sense the way I said that. We should get Peach out first, we should get Mario out second, and then we should get Yoshi out third, and that is how it should sound. Well, there we go. That's coin battle finished with. Again, still do that thing where the winner is when we already know who it is. It's so dumb. And those are the results. I want everyone except for that rigged hide and sneak. And you know what? I'm actually gonna buy something. I can actually buy something. Something that costs 999 coins. Because I have bought all the music now. 
I reached um, level 70 on my Mario Party level, and I think I've got all the encyclopedia stuff. Here I have. Let's buy the premium. So all I have to do now is reach um, level 80, and then I will um, I will get new encyclopedia stuff pages, which is pretty cool. But the video is not over yet. I'm just going to go back and we'll do one more mode and then I think we'll end the video there. So let me go through all this again.